Planet Dolan. Which is the only animal capable of living forever? Which food was the inspiration for Pac-Man? Here's 15 useless but incredible facts. I'm Hellbent, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. A high school student designed the current American flag. In 1958, when he was just 17 years old, Robert Heff submitted a design for the new 50-star U.S. flag. The previous flag was 48, but Robert's design aimed to include both Alaska and Hawaii, which were soon to become official states. He initially received a B- from his teacher, but he asked if they would change his grade if his design were chosen. When it was officially selected, his grade was altered to an A, and he even received a phone call from President Eisenhower. Number 14. H. A. Reeve fled the Nazis with the manuscript for Curious George. Hans Reeve and his wife Margaret were both living in Paris writing children's books when the Nazis entered France. Both of them were Jewish and decided to flee with the other refugees. Hans built two bicycles to help them escape. While trying to leave France, they had their bags searched and a copy of what was to become Curious George was inside. They were let go and eventually found their way to New York, where the book was published. George's original name was Fifi, but the U.S. publisher changed it to George. Number 13. The U.S. government paid $16 million for the Zapruder film. In 1963, Abraham Zapruder captured the assassination of President John F. Kennedy on film. He was one of only three people filming that day at Dealey Plaza in Dallas. His record is the most complete and was used in the investigations into the event and in films and documentaries such as Oliver Stone's JFK. The film strip runs a total of 26 seconds and is kept in national archives. The original film was declared public record and in 1999 a panel awarded $16 million to the Zapruder family for the footage. Number 12. Starfish can regrow themselves from a single arm. This can take months or even years, and only certain starfish can achieve this. These starfish, or sea stars, which aren't actually fish, do this by storing vital organs in their arms, while most other starfish need their disc or body to regenerate lost limbs. Most other sea stars can only regrow single arms, which they can lose intentionally as a form of defense against predators. Number 11. One in 200 people are related to Genghis Khan. Well, sort of anyway. It turns out that the Y chromosome, which only males have, that Genghis carried is found in 8% of the population around Central Asia. This totals about 16 million males, which is 0.5% of the world's population. This dominant Y chromosome is thought to originate 1,000 years ago and was carried by Genghis Khan and his sons. They were notorious for raping and pillaging the places that they conquered and probably give Khal Drago and the Dothraki army a run for their money. Number 10. There's an annual rain of fish in Honduras. In May or June each year in the town of Yoro, fish are thought to rain from the sky during thunderstorms. When the storm passes, there are fish scattered everywhere. This has happened for the past 100 years and is still a bit of a mystery. This scientific phenomenon called fish rain could be caused by tornadoes gathering the fish up from the ocean or flooding from nearby rivers. The legend goes that a Spanish missionary prayed to God for food for the poor and the rain of fish was answered to his prayer. Number 9. The heart of a blue whale is nearly the size of a golf cart. Speculation had it that the heart of a blue whale, the biggest of any animal, was the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. When a deceased blue whale washed up on the shore of a beach, scientists had the chance to really find out how it measured up. It wasn't quite the size of a small car, but at 180 kilograms or 400 pounds, it was still large. They also have massive arteries to pump the blood around their bodies, even if a human can't swim through one like previously thought. Number 8. Pizza is what inspired the shape of Pac-Man. In 1979, when 27-year-old Taru Awatani was staring at a pizza with two slices missing, he noticed it made the shape of a mouth and Pac-Man was born. He also admitted that he was inspired by the Japanese character for mouth. 
An employee of Namco at the time, Toru named the iconic character Paku Man after the Japanese onomatopoeic phrase Paku Paku Tabiru, the sound of a mouth opening and closing. The name was changed from Puck Man to Pac Man in North America to prevent uncreative vandals from changing the P to an F. Number 7. The only immortal species is a jellyfish. Humans have wondered for centuries if they could live forever, and they may have something to learn from Tortapis Dornal, also known as the immortal jellyfish. These tiny animals, only millimeters long, had the ability to regenerate themselves by changing their cell structure. They do this by returning to an earlier stage of life, regenerating from sexual maturity back to the polyp stage. They do this when attacked or sick, and they have the potential to do it forever. However, most immortal jellyfish will die from these causes at some stage in their life anyway. Number 6. Our sense of smell and taste decreases on an airplane. Anyone who's traveled in economy class knows that the food isn't that great, although the problem can't be blamed on cooking alone. Scientists have found that because of the altitude, our taste for sweet and salt decreases by about 30%. This also isn't helped by the fact that the humidity is dry as the desert, so our sense of smell and taste are similar to when we have a cold. Airlines are finding clever ways to counteract this. Even serving food on China with steel cutlery is thought to make the food taste better. Number 5. Pirates didn't wear patches to cover their missing eye. It's assumed that most pirates lost their eye in a sword fight. While this was probably true for some, the reason is thought to be much more clever. Since pirates would have to go above and below the deck often, especially if they were raiding another ship, it would pay to be able to adjust vision for both. Since our eyes take about 25 minutes to adjust to darkness, pirates would use a patch to keep one eye ready for dim conditions. Number 4. There's a swirl of garbage in the Pacific Ocean. Called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, its size can vary as well as the density of the garbage, and there are actually two separate collections across the ocean. Despite the name, it isn't actually a landfill in the middle of the ocean. It mainly consists of plastics, however, there are larger items floating in parts of the ocean. This is because the plastic doesn't break down, but instead forms into a micropenis. <clears throat> micro pieces, which can be eaten by fish, harming the marine life in the ocean. Number 3. Dinosaurs are thought to have had feathers. Recent discoveries have led scientists to conclude that dinosaurs aren't closely related to reptiles, as Jurassic Park would have us believe. The name dinosaur itself comes from the Greek word for formidable lizard, but the dinosaurs are more like prehistoric birds. Researchers have found that modern birds may have evolved from a group of feathered dinosaurs. This is supported by the discovery of a chunk of amber dating back 99 million years, which contains a preserved dinosaur feather. Number 2. Mona Lisa was hung in a bathroom. The famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci has been stolen, hidden from the Nazis, and after da Vinci's death, it ended up with King Francois I of France. Da Vinci's assistant sold the Mona Lisa to the king for 4,000 gold coins, close to $10 million today. It's said that the king hung the painting where he and his guests would bathe in smoke, damaging the painting over the decades. Number 1. It can take a photon over 100,000 years to reach the surface of the sun then eight minutes to go from the sun to the surface of the earth. This is because the density of the sun and the way it produces energy. It's not exactly the same photon that travels from the core where it emerges as gamma rays to the surface. The atoms are continuously reabsorbing each other every few millimeters, never moving in a straight line. Eventually, though, the gamma rays get bigger until they become visible light. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.